permissions are used to provide access to potentially sensitive data beyond the app sandbox. They can enhance the functionality of your app by allowing it access to the internet, device location, camera, and more. By using app permissions, users get control, transparency, and data minimization. Here's how. The user retains control over the data they share with apps. They understand what data an app uses and why the app is accessing this data. And finally, an app must access and use only the data that's required for a specific task or action that the user invokes. You should only use data or actions protected by permissions if it is necessary. When the user tries an app feature that requires a runtime permission, your app has to interrupt the user's work with a permission request. If the user doesn't understand why your app requests a particular permission, they may deny it. If another installed app might be able to perform the functionality on your app's behalf, you can delegate the task to another app using an intent. Then your app doesn't need access to protected data and actions because the other app declares those permissions instead. Android has two main types of permissions, install time and runtime. Install time permissions allow access to the data beyond the app sandbox, but only to less sensitive data. When you declare install time permissions in your app, the system automatically grants the permissions when the user installs your app. Runtime permissions control access to more sensitive data and actions. Therefore, you need to request them in your app before you can access the sensitive data or perform restricted actions. When your app requests a runtime permission, the system presents a prompt. To provide users with more control over their data, the system allows users to grant one-time permissions in certain situations, like when accessing the microphone, camera, or location. Here are four best practices to follow in order to use permissions effectively. First, your app should request only the permissions that it needs to complete the task the user is currently performing. Second, only ask for permissions when they are necessary for the actions the user is performing. For example, if your app uses location to show nearby pizza parlors, wait till the user interacts with that feature before asking for location permission. Third, when you include a library, you also inherit its permissions requirements. Be aware of the permissions that each dependency requires and what those permissions are used for. Android 11 introduced a data access auditing API to gain insights into how your app and its dependencies access private data. Lastly, be clear about what you're accessing and why. Want to learn more? Check out the documentation and sample. If you learned something new, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy coding.